Hello, Charlie. Hello, darling. Hi. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hello, Penny. Hello, Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Gilly. Hi, mate. Hello, guys. Hi, Gilly. Hello, Gilly. Hello, Gilly. Hello, Gilly. Hi, Ziggy. Wait. Good boy. Hi Gertrude, welcome, welcome to the farm. What do you think, Gilly? Hey, another wimey in town, mate. There's another wimerana in town. Here, a good girl, Hera. Hi, darling. Hi. Hi. Oh, Mr. Gilbert, what you got? Hi, Hera. Hello. Hello, you spent one night at home. You're back already, huh? Hello. Hi, Maisie, how are you? Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Good girl. Is that snap in my head? <laughs> we just want to know what we're having for lunch today. You're telling me you don't have something pre-planned? Well, I thought it would be real good to be on the lotto last night, so... <laughs> what was that? He was relying on the lotto. We, we went three ways oh, in the lotto ticket right. last night. <laughs> he, was re he was relying on that. He was like, well, we would have flown to France that way. We can't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, now we're back to skimping, so what do you want for lunch? Watching from the sideline, or are we all getting in there together? <laughs> they can swim around us. Yeah, they will too. All of us in the dinghy. You hear that, guys? <laughs> Don't watch the boat. We're going fishing.
Ja, 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 ja. We've got a new pup today to introduce you to, and her name is Gertrude. She's a warm runner when she comes. She's not too sure about getting in the water. Oh, that's pretty deep, isn't it, Gertie? Good girl. Gertrude! Gertrude! Hi! Doing some zoomies, old Gertrude. Go, go, go. She's excited. Good jump. Whee! <laughs> Good girl, Gertrude. Good girl, darling. You having fun? You having fun? Good girl, yeah. Go, go, go. Get him, Gertie. Get him. Kebabs. We went to try to get the fish and chips, but it uh, was close. What do you, what do you get today, Rodney? Beef. Beef and whatever else you didn't choose.
Do you want one of those? You getting one of those? Oh, oh, you go in the cup. There we go. Good boy, mate.
the way out here. Good girl. Good girl. This way. This way. Good girl, darling. That way. Oh. Good girl, darling. Not too bad for first. Let's get up. Good girl, Jersey. And now we're going to. Good boy, Ziggy. Good boy, slowly and lunge at my head. Yes. <laughs> yeah, boy. Good girl, Coco. Good boy, Dollar. It's swim time. Good boy. 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 Velcro dogs. I love a good cut on the business. Yeah, that's you. That's you, darling. <laughs> oh, Gilly. You come on, I need a nice one. Big free out of the box. Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. You want to cuddle or are you just going to stay me again? Good girl. Good girl. This way. Ready? Ready? Good girl. This way. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Good girl, darling. Good girl. So we've just got word that uh, Gertrude fell in the pool when she was a little pup. So it makes a lot of sense. When I first put her in the first time today, she was very panicky and I just assumed she couldn't swim. But supposedly she can swim across the lake and she's a competent swimmer through normal bodies of water where she can go in uh, in her own depth. But as far as the pools go, she's obviously got anxiety towards the pools. Very common thing with the dogs. So the plan for her will be that uh, we're just going to get her nice and calm every time she gets in the water and uh, show her how to get out comfortably. And in time, she should start to show an interest and hopefully she, she lets go of that fear and that anxiety. Um, but uh, from, from here on, now that I know that, it means, um, you know, we'll, we'll just hold her in the water, let her calm down and make sure she doesn't do those panic strokes where she lifts her paws up and splashes and tries to get out. Uh, and I'll just support her, um, her back end and she should fly up through the water. So we'll see how she goes now. This is the third run. You ready, Gertie? We're gonna go this way, right? Uh, 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 nope, nope. It's okay, it's okay. It's a good girl, good girl. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope, nope, nope. It's okay. It's okay. Oh dear. I'll go around this side. Yeah. You ready? Oh. Ah, watch out, Gilly. We got serious training doing here. Good girl, Gertie. Okay, come on. Good girl. Good girl, darling. Well done. Ooh. Good girl, Gertie. Good girl, darling. That wasn't so bad, was it? Good girl. Good girl. So, good improvement for just the first day. But um, obviously, we're dealing with anxiety there, not an not inability to swim. So we'll get, let her calm down, not, make sure she's not panicking, and she'll swim quite well. Gilly, you gotta stop stealing my hat while I'm teaching dogs to swim. Yeah. 
All right, look at this. Awesome, so this is a cake courtesy of uh, Hera's mum. And uh, that was to say thank you for Hera coming up and uh, having a bit of a holiday stay and working on her confidence. And I must say that after just two nights home, uh, she's come back today, a different dog, very confident, um, you know, much more outgoing in some of her uh, usual timid uh, scenarios during the day. So very good to see from Hera, hey? Good girl, darling. Your mum's very uh, generously got one of these cakes and it's a uh, vegan chocolate cake. Looks amazing, can't wait. So thank you very much, Hera's mum. We're gonna really enjoy getting in this this afternoon. Hera. Thank you, mate. Good girl. Yeah, you're doing a great job, hey? Really well done. A plus for Hera, well done. Not for the cake, but for her performance. So she's done really well, really happy with her progress. Good girl, darling. I'm sorry, this is a human cake, Milo. Human cake, ooh. <laughs> Try telling him no. Hey, it's a human cake, mate. It's a human cake. It's a human cake, Milo. <laughs> it's a human one, buddy. It's a human cake, Milo. Good here, mate. It's a vegan chocolate cake with some caramelized popcorn on top. Looks bloody good, and I must say I've had a little piece already, and I'm I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good to me, buddy. Yeah, mate. It's from good. it's from Hera's mum to say thanks for the work we did with Hera, and uh, she's she's you, become Hera. a become a different dog. Hey, well done, darling. Thank you, Hera's mum. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. G'day guys, so I want to introduce you to one of the dogs here today. Her name is Dash. She's a German short-haired pointer. And she's our senior here. Dash, Dash, come here darling. Go get this is Dash. She's a German short-haired pointer. And her favorite thing to do up here on the farm is to kill tennis balls. You rip about six of them up a day, don't you darling? Yeah, good girl. She's such a sweet old thing. And um, it's, it's actually quite impressive but she's still ticking along. She's still just uh, doing her own thing. She still gets very excited, uh, you know, doing all the activities. So she's definitely not a dog that is gonna be able to keep up with the other dogs. Uh, however, you can see in her excitement and her energy when we're going through to do the other activities, she barks, she gets, um, you know, wound up. She loves going in the pool. She actually never swam before she came to the farm. Uh, and now she, she swims in the pool, she swims in the dam. And her favorite thing is just to get a tennis ball or get a toy, chew it, rip it to pieces, go get another one and uh, continue that cycle throughout the day. So that's what she likes doing. So that's what we let her do when she comes to the farm. Uh, you know, it's her thing, it's her release. She's, a, she's an old dog. And so we just want her to be happy. We want her just to enjoy her, her last days. Um, and hopefully there's quite a few more to come, but uh, she's definitely um, one of the oldest dogs that we've got coming to the farm at the moment. So it's really good to see her swimming. Uh, it's really good to, to see her uh, confident around the other dogs. She often, um, you know, is head down chewing the toys and, you know, gets surprised by the other dogs just appearing in front of her because she's most likely a little bit deaf, uh, potentially some selective hearing in there, but uh, I think she is uh, losing a hearing. So a lot of the dogs can, can creep up on her. And if she's, you know, uh, any more than about 20 metres away, you, you do see that she does struggle to respond. Um, so you have to get, if she's off wandering around the paddock, uh, around the playground when it's time to move on to go for a bushwalk or something, I just wait till she looks up and uh, see that she can see me and I give her a big arm signal and she realises, okay, it's time to, time to go. So uh, her sight's still there, uh, but she's a German short-haired pointer. So she's a gun dog. Um, they're, in their younger days, they are very active. Uh, they're very similar to the Vizsla, but much heavier set. Uh, they're a bigger dog than the Vizsla. Very similar in uh, temperament and um, energy level. 
but they're a little bit more independent than the Vizsla. Vizsla's a little bit more, um, you know, they nickname them the Velcro dog, but the, the GSPs are a little bit more independent. So Dash is definitely um, one of the more senior dogs here at the farm. She's 13 and, you know, true to the GSP uh, mentality and, and energy level. She's still very active and uh, very fit for a 13 year old dog. Um, as a young pup, they're full on, um, you know, they're very, very energetic, um, a, a nice, strong, powerful dog. And they use their nose, they also use their eyes, um, as, hence the pointing. So, uh, Dash is losing her hearing uh, as she's getting old, but she definitely loves her farm days. She loves coming up, and you know, she doesn't come up to you know, compete with the other dogs, but she just comes up to be in the country air, sniff everything that's available to sniff, get the wake in those senses, uh, destroy a few tennis balls and a few Kong toys, and uh, she goes home very satisfied. Uh, you know, we got the tennis ball pit down there, and we see her, if we're off doing something, doing some walks around, she'll go to the tennis ball pit, grab a tennis ball, go to the dock, rip it to a thousand pieces, and then just go back to the tennis ball pit, grab another tennis ball, go back to the dock, rip it to a thousand pieces, and uh, you know, that's her thing, that's what she wants to do, so that's what she does, that's what we let her do, we, we just want her to be happy. So that's Dash, the German short-haired pointer. Come on, Dash. Good girl. Good girl. Hello. Come on, guys. Hello guys. Got some cake for you, Rodney. Hey. It's pretty good. It's a vegan chocolate cake. But you wouldn't even know it was vegan. It's really, really good. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah's mama. 